Cynthia, synthetic bacteria. Well, I am finding myself completely obsessed with this. Probably just as much as I'm obsessed with peak oil. Anyway, uh, I googled uh, Cynthia synthetic bacteria pros and cons because it almost seems too good to be true without having cons, without having, you know, because pretty much everything man creates has has a bad side, a, a good side and a bad side. You know, I mean, what what has man ever created that was just nothing but good? Everything, even a lot of things in nature. However, I mean, at least in nature, there are are things that are just purely good, like pure, clean water until, you know, man pollutes it. But anyway, not to get off the subject, but anyway, I was going to read off the pros and the cons. And, you know, you can think whatever you want. But um, it's interesting, to say the least. Anyway, this is what I found after doing about an hour. Only, I only did about an hour of research on this. So you might want to do your own research and find other things. But anyway, this was um, something I found on, uh, and I Googled it. And I think um, the creator, um, the scientist that created that you know was one of the main creators of this synthetic bacteria i think you know he probably had a lot to say about what was written here so you might want to do your own research but i don't know i'm not into conspiracies i like to know facts um, and that includes both good and bad facts if you can find them but anyway quickly um I'll read some off. Anyway, the pros, the ability to write genetic code. Okay, you can look look into that if you like. Um, I haven't looked into to, to writing genetic code. You can only imagine. Um, I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, who knows, right? It's prob like it probably it's probably both. I mean, like I said, it, it's all about. Um, Taking the good with the bad, I guess, right? I don't know. Uh, two, a uh, better understanding of living cells. Three, development of more efficient pharmaceuticals such as vaccines. Uh, four, uh, advanced water cleaning functions and or efficient new biofuels that work at scale that is very important because right now the problem we have with oil depletion is they can't really find anything that will get up to scale you know that can supply um, growing demands for oil for growth in the economy now again you can look at that as good or bad because I mean you can't just grow forever you would need at the current rate of consumption, you would need several more Earths just to sustain the level of um, our, our living standard, basically, is what it is. So anyway, not to get into all that um, controversy, but that's how I see it because I'm a realist. Um, now, I'm not saying that a bunch of people can't just keep, you know, quadrupling their population and, and live in harmony with nature, but I don't see it. I mean, it, you could live in harmony with nature to a point, only to a point, right? I mean, after a while, you need breathing room. You can't just live wall-to-wall -wall people. Um, like I said, I mean, now if this synthetic bacteria could help with terraforming new planets and creating new planets, well, there you go. Um, that would be great. But anyway, uh, number, oh, number five, uh, I'm not for GMOs, but this sounds good because it's uh, development of improved uh, altered foods. In other words, improved GMO foods. Now, if they could create like 
the perfect food with like all the vitamins and minerals that your specific body type or genotype would need to be in you know top health wouldn't that be nice and you wouldn't even have to kill animals you could just you know synthetically create this um, meat from an animal cell and there you go you could have your meat and um, not worry about heart attacks or mad cow disease um, too much cholesterol you know all kinds of stuff and besides that you wouldn't have to factory farm these poor creatures so you know you would save the the environment you would cut way down on co2 way down on pollution of the water table and it would just be more the earth could be much more balanced this way so i think that would be really good too um okay so let's see oh and six uh progressive increase in research capability venter says that's his name craig venter is the scientist that's that has um created this synthetic bacteria anyway that's why i am saying that he has something to do with all this writing but you know whatever um of course he's going to say nothing but good things but no there was a few bad things but this this also makes sense but the cons that that were stated here are uh bioweaponry um uh, and also uh, can be used for malicious intent so you have to have higher you know screening or security of those who want DNA so it would be you know you'd have to really be careful on who gets a hold of DNA on this DNA because you could create all kinds of bioweapons and if you ask me they probably already have anyway I don't know think what you will take care